Chapter 1. Adapting to the World in Flux It's no secret that change was always present in human lives, but have you noticed that its pace increased drastically over just a few decades? The pandemic, the ecological crisis, and social and economic issues all came crashing down on us simultaneously. The bitter truth is that these issues will not disappear anytime soon. The world is in a state of constant change, but we still live by the same rules that were relevant to a slower, calmer world. To be more precise, we are living according to the old script, the set of goals and priorities in life unique to every person, but adhering to the same shared values. Our ancestors have passed down these values through the generations, so we have grown to accept them as a given. However, the world around us has changed so significantly over the last decades that the script we have no longer applies. Remember, humans usually go on board with a change as long as they are free to choose it. However, in a world of flux, change happens regardless whether we like it or not. At this point, you are probably wondering what flux is. The word flux denotes continuous change. So the flux mindset means living in a way that welcomes change instead of fearing it. Such thinking provides us with inner strength and boosts our confidence. It is our compass in a life full of unpredictable turns. April Rinney presents the eight superpowers that will allow you to master your flux mindset by rewriting your script to suit the world you live in without sabotaging your growth. Here is the course of action in a nutshell. Number one, unlock flux thinking. Number two, use it to access the eight flux superpowers. Number three, use the superpowers to create a new up-to-date plan for your life. Developing and practicing these skills takes your whole life, and society's expectations of you may go against what you want for yourself. But that is just the old script at work, and to thrive, it's important to follow your inner voice. Every person is unique, so no two scripts are ever the same. Each chapter represents one of the eight flux superpowers and offers inquiring questions and exercises that will help you analyze the areas of your life that are upside down root out anxiety, and change your perception of the world to a more positive, hopeful one. Chapter 2. Slow Down to Catch Up We learned from Young that we must be fast to succeed in life. The fastest one wins the race, they say. However, speed does not always guarantee success in a world that is in flux. When we rush, naturally, we don't have time to think. As a result, we lose the main idea and end up operating on autopilot. We run towards what is defined as successful by society or away from the things that frighten us, when in reality our lives just go by, while we try to accomplish something that is not even what we want. Keep in mind, life is not about achievement, it's about the process. There is always someone who works harder, has more money, and is more popular or successful. When we rush in attempts to compete with the rest of the world, we are left burnt out and still nowhere near the top. That's the thing about the old script. Society designed it so that we feel we can never be enough. It turns out that slowing down, as opposed to running away from everything you fear or towards the objectives that society set out for you, brings more success, reduces anxiety, and allows you to embrace and even enjoy the things you were so afraid of in the past. We live in a cycle of consuming and craving more, thus producing more than before. By running slower, we can save the planet from destruction. Slowing our pace gives us clarity and sharpens our focus on what's important. It's not about taking time off or seeking fast solutions to a problem. It's about moving at a healthy speed, one that is convenient and not harmful to our health. Try to stop and do absolutely nothing for a little while. Don't think of goals. Try to fulfill some purpose or worry about the time you are not using to achieve something. You will have less anxiety and a better immune system if you pause like this regularly, so it won't hurt to try. Chapter 3. See from a new perspective. Our backgrounds and social statuses deeply affect how we see the world. We grow up having a specific set of social norms that differ in various cultures, but we never see the whole picture, and we end up seeing things differently. What we can do, though, is accept the fact that there are other points of view and try to explore them. Another issue is that our privilege often blinds us. Whether it is a wealthy family, good health, the color of skin, or maybe the benefits that we acquire out of luck, it is important to see beyond our advantages to unlock previously invisible options. We will notice the opportunities and solutions otherwise imperceptible with a broader outlook. Doing handstands allows you to change perspective, so shift your point of view to get new insights. 
At the onset of mass marketing around 100 years ago, humanity started falling down the rabbit hole of producing and consuming. As a result, our society has grown to see humans not as individuals but as consumers, human beings with money to purchase products. This perception influences how we treat one another and the world around us. We choose to overlook other people's struggles, such as homelessness and poverty, and we turn a blind eye to the harmful impact our industry has on the planet. We even think our choice of things to buy is more important than the choices we make in elections. Society did not hear the voices of women, black people, and other cultural and ethnic minorities for a very long time. Despite working as hard as anyone else, these groups were marginalized and moved to the sidelines of life to fill in the empty spaces. It had nothing to do with the level of their expertise, but everything to do with inequality. Only recently did these social issues start to get more and more attention in the wake of the Me Too and Black Lives Matter movements. Such injustice makes us blind to the discrimination of some layers of society and denies us the power of fresh ideas and different points of view that these people can bring to the table. We need to aim to see the complete picture, especially the periphery, because that's where real change is born, where there is enough space for ideas to grow. Chapter 4. Step out of your comfort zone and trust your surroundings. Getting lost has negative connotations for some people, but it is nothing of the kind for April Rainey. Quite the opposite. It's the time to explore, enjoy, and observe. The reason lies in the definition. Those with an outdated mindset see being lost as a failure caused by losing control. On the other hand, the new script suggests a different meaning, being okay with the unknown and accepting that it may never be known. If you never get lost, you never actually find your way. April Rainey when we try to prevent getting lost and perceive it as a liability, we deny ourselves the space for creativity to spark. However, getting lost allows us to discover new opportunities and see new ways that we would never have a chance to notice. It is an opportunity for you to regain your footing when everything is wavering. That way, you can adapt and be aware of your surroundings, rather than keep living in fear of a changing world. Don't limit your circle to the people who think like you. Communicating with a vast range of people brings fresh insights and widens perspective. According to our old scripts, we shouldn't trust anyone in anything by default, especially the unknown. We normalize mistrust by doing this, making it impossible for trust even to appear, because why would it? Mistrust, however, only leads to anxiety and isolation and destroys curiosity and creativity. Eventually, we just build another wall between us and our new, adaptable mindset. Trust is the most basic power we must unleash to grow and expand our potential. To write a new script, we need to invite vulnerability and follow the principle that even though we cannot trust all people, we can trust most of them. Such thinking makes relationships with other people blossom. It might feel weird and uncomfortable to change your beliefs like that, but it's okay to feel this way. When you switch on your critical thinking after so many years of blindly going on autopilot, it will understandably be frustrating. But the result is marvelous. You will discover new ways of functioning in this world in a useful and sustainable way. Chapter 5. Opt for enough and pursue your dreams. The old mindset dictates that we never have enough and need to crave more to survive. It provokes us to restlessly consume without actually getting satisfied, no matter how much we acquire, and constantly compare ourselves to others, basing our worth on their achievements. When change hits, we need to redefine what is important and what is enough to maintain balance. The old script requires us to be greedy and view other people as consumers, beings that can potentially purchase something. With a new system of enough, we put our relationships first, rather than income, which changes how we perceive life. We eventually put more effort into building strong connections with other people and treating them better, rather than making more money as fast as possible. When you're gone, people won't remember whether you had more. They will remember how you treated them. April Rainey Do you sometimes feel you are interested in too many things and find difficulty in sticking to just one? While simultaneously a lawyer, a hiking guide, an advisor, and a book author, April Rainey can relate. Engraved in our old script is the idea of studying for one profession and then pursuing it. Changing career paths was traditionally considered unprofessional, time-wasting, and bad for your resume. In the world in flux, though, diverse interests are the key to success. Remember, 
Any experience you have ever had, big or small, makes up what you are today. The author advises reviewing your professional expertise as a portfolio rather than a linear path. You should consider all the strengths and skills you have acquired and embrace your diverse areas of interest because that is what makes you, you. This approach makes your CV unique and allows you to have multiple sources of income and feel confident instead of unmoored in a world full of change. Did you know the Japanese have an authentic concept for having a purpose in life called Ikigai, and it's the quintessential definition of having a reason to wake up in the morning. Chapter 6. Being Human and Embracing Your Future Nowadays, we communicate with other humans less than ever before. Technology allows us to study and explore, but also to escape. The National Institutes of Health Studies suggest that our depression levels are highly dependent on how much time we spend online. By depending upon and immersing ourselves in technology, we cut away what's human about us and isolate ourselves. Remember, it is important to understand that technology is merely an asset, not the solution to our problems or the purpose of life. We are used to the notion of being tough and hiding our true feelings. The new mindset needs us to be sincere with the people around us show our true selves, and be present in the real world. We should strive to balance humanity and technology and what's digital and real. The concept that best describes such ability is DQ, digital intelligence, an evolution of IQ and EQ, intelligence and emotional intelligence quotients. The DQ is mostly about being responsible for the use of technology while still maintaining human communication, standing up to cyberbullying, and protecting ourselves from digital identity theft. Even though the future is unpredictable, we still like the idea that we can somehow control it. For example, if we prepare a plan and stick to it, we expect it to play out just how we have imagined it would. Unfortunately, this is just an illusion, and the question arises of what to do if the dreams you have for the future do not align with reality anymore. Here is what the author suggests. Let go of the dreams that don't work anymore and free up the space for those that do. Focus on something you can influence, like your reaction to the events happening in your life. Focus on what's going on now. The closer your mind is to the present, the more it can concentrate. Remember that the future is impossible to grasp or predict. Whatever it might be, you will have an opportunity to wander, explore, and begin anew. The key is to accept that it's out of your control. If you realize that all things change, there's nothing you will try to hold on to. Lao Tzu Conclusion Flux is an ongoing practice. There are plenty of things in the world for you to learn, observe, and analyze. Take a look at your family, friends, or community. Can you see through their privilege? Perhaps an organization you work for needs more diverse personnel. Or maybe your child is anxious about having to choose a profession that will sustain them for the rest of their life. Anything happening around you is an opportunity to practice the flux mindset and strengthen your superpowers. The way to start is by exercising whichever superpower feels the closest to you. All these powers are interconnected, so you ease your mastery of the others by practicing just one. And when they are combined, the outcome is all the more impressive. The goal is improvement, not perfection. April Rini. By learning to slow down and pursuing the things that matter to us, we can improve our quality of life. When we abandon our desire to control the future and are okay with getting lost, we welcome the inevitable change instead of running away from it. Trusting each other, opting for enough instead of a lot, and being more human makes the world a safer, more sustainable place. And if we want to live in a better world, why should we keep these insights to ourselves? This is the best time to learn and share what we have found, helping others write out their new scripts for the world in flux. Try this. Reevaluating your entire life is bound to be tiresome, so take it easy. Start small and make steady progress. Make a list of the areas in your life that need changing the most and write out ways to make it happen. Journal your progress. Give yourself the time you need to reflect, analyze, and practice. Don't get upset if things don't go the way you anticipated at first. You are new at this after all.